Lisa Guyton from 13 ABC in Toledo. Uh, as you just mentioned, uh, Chrysler is to Detroit. I assume maybe you look at Toledo is to Jeep. Yeah, uh, talk I do. about <laughs> lot, lots of good things happening there. Can you talk about where things stand right now? No, look, I, I couldn't be more pleased with what's going on with Toledo. I, I, I'd be lying through my teeth. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, the, the fact that, I give you a couple of points of reference. The fact that we asked our people in Toledo to work during the Christmas break to try and make more Wranglers because I was short globally. And that we got 90% plus adhesion to the request without even asking, putting it to a vote as an indication of a willingness to engage, which is somewhat unique. I can tell you this right now that from a European standpoint, if we try to do this, I, I couldn't even bring it to a vote, never mind getting it to a 90% adhesion. So, uh, we're just really talking about a different work ethic and a different attachment to the to the brand and to the, and to the future of Chrysler. I um, we we continue to to be amazed at how resilient the Wrangler is and how well it's performing on a global scale, not just the United States. And the other thing that obviously is of, is of interest to us is is to continue to develop that architecture so that we can maintain it. Uh, as current as we can without impacting on the capability of that vehicle, which has really been at the, at the heart of its success. The other part of it, which people cannot underestimate, is that the investment that we're now making with the uh, um, industrialization of the Liberty replacement in Toledo um, is, is, from an architectural standpoint, is probably the most significant investment that we're making. It is going to move Jeep and the brand itself into um, a position to effectively redefine the DSUV market. And because of the strength of the brand, that combination of state-of-the-art architecture and powertrains and the brand itself will make it unique. So I have, not only in terms of, of US consumption, but I actually think that the production that will be coming out of Toledo will have a great future in terms of international distribution. So I. You know, stay tuned. I think that what we'll see here in the next 18 to 24 months coming out of Toledo is a significant rebirth of those operations and a significant increase in, in output and hopefully employment. So I, I couldn't say better things. I don't know. I, I can go on for a little while, but it, yeah, the quality of the workforce in Toledo is outstanding. I mean, if I'm trying to make it, if, if you don't feel good so far, I'll keep on going, but um, I couldn't ask them to do more. Two other quick questions. Could you talk a little bit more about this SUV that's going to be coming out of Toledo? You have mentioned in prior interviews that you're more <laughs> excited about that than I am. the Grand Cherokee. I am, because it, it, it's like dragging, dragging an anchor. I've been doing it now for three years. I know what the world without the anchor looks like, and I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. There's, the minute that we unleash the Liberty successor, onto an unsuspecting world is the day that I think I'll feel free. I, it, I know that I've had a less than competitive product in the Liberty. We've had to suffer through this as we industrialize the architecture. We had to make a couple of choices that were going to really permanently define that car. We know that stylistically we have moved the brand where we wanted to, where we want to have it. It's, um, I, would, no, I wouldn't even change half an inch on that car, the way in which it stands. And I know that the powertrain solutions that we brought on are unique in the class by, by a long, long stretch. And we've maintained all the, all the jeepness that we have to maintain, including all the off-road capabilities, the trail, trail rating capability of that vehicle. So I, if we blow that car, it's our fault because it's, you know, the, the amount of thought and, and care that has gone on to, into the choice, choice of the design and the adaptation of the architecture to the Jeep requirements has been phenomenal. So I'm... One more quick question. Sure. Certainly that plant will begin running on two shifts. There'll be a third shift left. Can you talk about what else you may be bringing into Toledo? You know what? You may not even need to bring anything in to fill the third. If I'm right about that car, give it a chance. It's the biggest, it's the biggest SUV segment okay. in the US and I we played poorly. Give us a chance. I mean, you saw with the Grand Cherokee what happens when you get a great car, right? People wake up and smell the coffee eventually. There's enough caffeine in that car to snap everybody onto the grid here. <laughs>